Hello, it's Mr. Primer here. In this uh, video, I'm gonna be showing you my favorite astronomy computer program. It's called Stellarium. And you can get a free download of it at stellarium.org for both uh, PC and Macs. Um, it also comes in apps for your other electronic devices. There's an Android app for it and also uh, an Apple uh, app for it. So the apps cost a couple bucks and the um, uh, actual program for a computer is free. So I have a PC running here, so I have uh, the program that I just started. So this is what it will look like when you first uh, go into it. You can use just the, uh, the direction pads on your keyboard to go up and down. So you can look and see what things are like in the night sky. And this is really great because I know unfortunately, uh, living in a, in a major city, uh, we have a lot of light pollution, so you can't actually see uh, what we should be seeing. So if it was totally dark out um, and there wasn't any major cities around, this is what we would be looking at. Uh, let's see, what are some things that you should know about? Um, I think you could probably learn a lot just by playing around with it, but here are a few things that you might find helpful. First of all, you'll notice that we are in Paris right now, so we can change that by going to the location window and searching for Toronto or wherever you live. There we go. And now we are in Toronto. So you can see that in Toronto, it's daytime right now. It is about three o'clock and we don't really see that much, uh, but we're in the right place because depending on where you are in the world, you'll see stars, uh, constellations, uh, different planets. Um, so it's important that you are in the right spot. All right, there's a few things that you should know about. Uh, down here in this bottom panel, um, there are a lot of different uh, buttons that you can push on and off. Uh, for instance, if you wanna see um, what, uh, what the night sky would look like if there was no sun, you can press this atmosphere button. And this is what it would look like right now if the sun wasn't um, kind of blinding us from all these fainter objects in the sky. So you can actually see that close to the sun right now are the planets Saturn, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. So that's a pretty cool button. That's the atmosphere button. Um, you can also uh, use these uh, time buttons to fast forward or speed up time. So if I speed up a little bit, whoa, look at this. I'm, I'm going in really fast right now. Um, so, but you can go to fast forward to a time that's nighttime. So you can see what things are like at nighttime. So I just randomly fast forwarded to 1.44 a.m. on December 9th. Uh, so if you wanna choose a more specific time, you can go up here to the date and time window. So if you wanna go back to today's date and then go to maybe uh, 11.44 at night. Um, sorry, this would be 11.44 at night. Uh, then you can use the date and time window. Um, also, some other things down here, you can switch on uh, nebulas and galaxies with this button. Uh, the constellation lines you can look at to see the different constellations and to label them right here. So you can see that here is the Big Dipper. Uh, its official name of the whole constellation is Ursa Major. Um, and then what's really cool in this program is the constellation art. So now we have the art uh, that represents the stories behind the constellations. So I think that is really cool. So all of these things you can turn on and off whenever you want. Um, and you could uh, fast forward in time to see the daily rotations. And you can uh, speed it up. So this is pretty cool. And even think what things are like in the daytime as well. Um, so very cool features. Um, some other important features are over here. So in the sky and viewing options window, um, one important feature is labeling things. So if we want um, more stars to be labeled, we can turn up the sensitivity so we can see e what even the faint stars are called. You can also click on objects as well to see what they are called and some information about them. Um, planets, so if you wanna see more of the dwarf planets um, and fainter planets, you could turn that up 
Um, you can also go show planet uh, markers. So let's go around and find a planet right now. So Jupiter, we should be able to find. Um, oh, actually there's Mars, so there's one. So you can see um, showing the planet markers just makes them pop out a little bit more. Um, you can also click this to show planet orbits. So this is where the different planets orbit uh, their path. And you can see that all the paths are relatively similar. They all rotate on the same plane called the uh, ecliptic. Sorry, elliptic. No, ecliptic. Um, all right, so that is something else that you can look at. So you can change the sensitivity. Um, okay, so let's get this off. Uh, one other thing that is pretty neat is if you were wanting to use this program to actually see some of these stars and constellations, um, sometimes it can be a bit difficult because what you see on the program is a lot different than what you might see in the night sky. Um, and let me just turn off the nebulas for a second. So there's a lot of stars here. Um, so what you can do is change the amount of light pollution uh, that you see. So if you turn this up, then you can get something that would more resemble Toronto. Um, so this is kind of what uh, a more realistic picture of kind of the amount of stars we can see in the sky at nighttime. Um, so it's definitely not as good, but it can help you uh, find some different things. So let's go forward a little bit to 11, okay, here, we're just a bit after midnight. Um, so right here, we can see a constellation Orion. And just to confirm, you can put on the label. So there's Orion, or if you wanted to put on the lines, you can see there's Orion, there's Orion's belt. Or you could even put on the art if you don't have an imagination, or if you just want to see cool art. Um, so that is another really cool thing that you can do. Um, uh, you can also click on every object and then it tells some information about it. So distance, so the distance of Jupiter is 4.8 AU from the Earth. So that means it's uh, almost five Earth uh, distances uh, of the Earth to the Sun uh, from here to Jupiter. Um, and stars, you can look at some of the stars distances. So it'd be in light years. Um, so this star is 11.41 light years. Um, so lots of cool things you can do. Another important thing that you can do is um, press the space bar once you've clicked on something. And that way, even when you are moving around, it will keep centered on that. So we can kind of see Jupiter's kind of path throughout our day. And really, Jupiter isn't moving a whole lot. We are rotating, and that's what's causing that. But one really cool thing, if you zoom in, you can zoom in by pressing the um, page up button on um, PC or just scrolling with your mouse. Um, so we can zoom up and see the moons of Jupiter. And one really cool thing about the moons of Jupiter is that they slowly orbit around Jupiter. So even in one night, they change slightly. And day to day, they change quite a bit too. Um, and so we can't see them right now because the, the Earth was getting in the way. But one thing you can do is go to the date and time window and change the day. So here we go. This is what it will look like one day, then the next day, the next day, the next day. And this is a really cool planet because you can actually see this in a, a pretty um, normal telescope. So I have a telescope. It's not super big by any imagination, but I can actually see this in the telescope. So when I look at Jupiter, one night the planets might uh, look like this. Sorry, not the planets, the moons of Jupiter. Uh, another night they might look like this, and the next night they'll look like this. And this program accurately uh, represents uh, what they will look like. So yeah, these are the four biggest moons of Jupiter, uh, Callisto, Europa, Io, and Ganymede. Uh, and uh, Jupiter has a lot of other moons as well, um, but they are fainter and you can't see them as well. Okay, so I'll get out of that. I will zoom, unzoom, back down to Earth. Uh, and I think that's about it. I think uh, 
that gives you the basics. There's a lot more you can do with this program, but I think you could uh, do a great job just exploring it for yourself. All right, hope that helped.